Hi guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. So in this tutorial, we'll be going through another exam question and we're going to be looking at speed, distance, time uh, exam question or the topic. And it's quite, it's a bit wordy. So what I would say first is pause the video, read the question and then see if you can understand what it is it's asking you guys to do. And then also what I would say is have a go. Doesn't matter if you get it wrong. Okay, have a go. Try and have an un try and see. Try and see you know what kind of methods you can use and, and have a go, right? And then play the video back and then see the methods that I will be using and what the answer is. And this question is a four mark question. Um so this also is in a non calculator paper. So again, there is you cannot use a calculator for this. Uh this is this is a non calculator question. Okay, so also another thing, apologies if you can hear this background noise, there's a bit of road work going on, um, so apologies for that. Right, let's get straight to the question. So the question here, what we have is, Sean drives from Manchester to Gretna Green. He drives at an average speed of 50 miles an hour for the first three hours of his journey. He then has 150 miles to drive to get to Gretna Green. Sean drives these 150 miles at an average speed of 30 miles per hour. Sean says, my average speed from Manchester to Gretna Green was 400, 400, 40 miles per hour. Is Sean right? Now, the, normally with worded problem question, the best way I, the best way to kind of go forward is kind of have a visual diagram because it makes a lot more sense. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, because we know he's going to travel from Manchester to Gretna Green, right? So I'm going to have like a little line if you like well it's not really a line it's not a straight line but from Manchester to Gretna Green right and then if we look at the first sentence here he says he drives at an average speed of 50 miles per hour for the first three hours so again the first three hours I don't know it, it doesn't matter it could be somewhere here right um let's just put somewhere okay here right it doesn't really matter so we know that this bit here for the first three hours so I'm going to label this for the first three hours for the this point so we'll say the first three hours Okay, for the first three hours, he drives at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. So he's going at an average speed of 50 miles per hour from Manchester. Actually, let's put a point here. Let's put point X, yeah? So from Manchester to point X, we don't know this point, he drives for three hours for 50 miles per hour. Okay, does that make sense? Right, I'm just looking at the first sentence here. And then if you look at the second sentence, he then has 150 miles to drive to get to Gretna Green. So then from point X to his final destination, there is 150 miles of distance that he needs to cover. Okay, so he's got 100, oops, he's got 150 miles to still cover from point X to grits and a green and then in the next sentence it says is Sean drives these 150 miles an hour oh, 150 miles at an average speed of 30 miles per hour so for this 150 miles from point X to point G he drives for 30 miles per an hour the average speed okay so that yeah so 150 miles per hour and that is 30 miles per 100, 100 what do I keep saying 150 miles per hour 150 miles he drives at an average speed of 30 miles per hour Okay, so this is my little, if you like, a little diagram. So from Manchester to Gretna Green, so from Manchester to point X, for the first three hours, he drives at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. And then from point X to Gretna Green, the remaining 150 miles, he drives at an average uh, speed of 30 miles per hour. So here's my diagram, okay? And now what I'm going to do is, if you look at the question now, it says, Sean says, my average speed from Manchester to Gretna Green was 40 miles per hour. So... Average speed, okay, average speed basically means, so if I write here average speed, the way I'm going to do this is basically the average speed for the whole trip is going to be, so if you should know what speed, the formula for speed, right? So the formula for speed, it's equals to distance over time, right? Or if you guys remember the triangle way, you can use that as well. But for average speed, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my total distance, yeah. So from Manchester to Gretna Green, the total distance to get from Manchester to Gretna Green and over the total time. And what I mean by total time is basically the total time it gets me, it gets the, the total time it takes from Manchester to Gretna Green. The total distance is the total distance from Manchester to Gretna Green. Once I have those values, then I divide them. And then I get my average speed. And then that average speed value, you need to compare with this statement here and see if it's right or wrong. 
I hope that makes sense. So my step one, what I'm going to do for step one, if I write this here, so I'm going to write step one. So let me put step one is I'm going to find first my total distance. Okay. So I'm going to find my total distance, right? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my total distance then I'm going to find my total time and then divide them together to get my average speed. So I'm going to get my total distance. So we know, right, we know that from point X to point G, we have 150 miles, okay? We have a distance of 150 miles. But the thing is, I don't know from point M to X what my distance is. So if I say point M to X, I want to know what my distance is, right? Because I don't know the distance. What I'm going to do is use the speed uh, formula. So speed is equals to distance over time to find my distance. And the way I'm going to find distance here, basically, my distance is going to be, if I rearrange it, speed times time. Okay? Again, you can use a triangle method if you want. It's absolutely fine. So the distance for this, my speed from M to X was 50. And my time it took was 3 hours. So then my distance is going to be 150 miles. Right? So that is my distance from point M to point X, right? So I've got my distance here. And we also know the distance from X to G. So if I write here, X to G is also 150 miles, okay? So then my total distance, if I were to write my total distance now, oof, I haven't got space down, so we'll need to write it here. So the total distance is equals to what would you guys think the total distance is basically 150 so it's going to be this distance which is 150 miles plus this distance which is also 150 miles so 150 plus 150 that will give us the total distance of 300 miles so that is my total distance 300 miles so I found my total distance, okay? And now my step two that I'm going to do is find my total time. So my total time, I hope I have enough space here to write all of this. So the total time, basically, we know that from point M to X, our time is three hours, so we've got that. So if I'm going, I'm going to just put total time here, total time. And from point M to X, the time it takes is three hours. So we've we've got that. We're okay with that. That's three hours. But we don't know the time from X to G, right? The time from X to G. And that is what we need to find. So again, if I use my speed equals distance over time uh, formula, speed equals distance over time, and make time the subject in this case, because we want to find time. So T is equals to distance over speed. And what I'm basically doing here is for x to g, for point x to g, yeah? So I'm looking at point x to g, yeah, this point. So I'm going to use these two values. So basically, my time then is going to be my distance, which is 150, over my speed, which is 30. And that would give 150 divided by 30 is 5 hours. So your total time, right? Now you've got this as five hours. So your total time, if we were to write here, total time is basically, so the total time is basically the time that it takes from M to X, which is three hours, plus the time that it takes from X to G, which we just found five hours. And that in total gives us eight hours. Okay. And now the final step, this is where I need to try and squeeze everything in if I can. The final step here, step three, is basically now using the formula that we've just written. So step three, the formula here, average speed is equal to total distance over total time. And that basically is going to be my total. So if I say the average speed, so I'll just put AS, average speed, is basically the total distance, which we found, which was here, 300 miles, divided by, the total time, which is what we found here, eight hours. And if we divide this, again, remember, this is a non-calculator question. Yeah, so you cannot use a calculator for this. So 300 divided by eight should give you 
miles per hour right this is my average speed and if you look at this the statement here the statement says my average speed from Manchester to Gretna Green was 40 miles per hour no Sean is not right because you can see here the average speed is actually less 37.5 37.5 miles per hour so in your answer you say no Sean is not right is not right okay and then you you refer to because of 37.5 miles per hour yeah because it's less than 40 miles per hour okay so obviously mention the 37 is just because i haven't got space here to write uh you just basically say no sean is not right because the average speed is 37.5 miles per hour which is less than the the one that he stated okay so hopefully you, you you understand what's happening here and i know it's a bit i'm squeezing everything in here just because this problem is a bit wordy so don't have that much space but basically i've labeled it as step one step two step three and remember what we're essentially doing here because we're talking about average speed the average speed we're looking at is basically we want to look at the total distance over the total time of this journey from manchester to gretna green right and this is where i've partitioned it from m to x and then x to g so you guys understand what is happening and then basically from if you each step, you know, the first step you're looking at is finding the total distance and then the total time and then basically dividing, dividing them to find your average speed. And then you just compare that with the statement. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if there's anything that you don't understand in this method or working out, put it down in the comments and I will get back to you. And until then, I shall see you on the next one.